Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to set up and use billing rate levels. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. And here we are in QuickBooks Desktop uh, 2019 version, and we're at the home screen here. And so a billing rate level is generally going to be used for uh, if you have labor uh, or employees that you're charging time to customers and you want to put them at a certain billing level. OK, so you want to charge a certain amount for their time to your customers. OK, so this is pretty easy to do. So, of course, if you, you know, you pay your employee 20 bucks an hour and you want to build them to a customer at 100 bucks an hour, this is the way you're going to do that. OK, OK, so first thing we want to do, if we go up to lists, OK, and we say billing rate level list. We're going to go ahead and click on this. And we're going to see that we have one already set up in here, fixed hourly rate, $150 for all services. OK, so let's go ahead and set up a new one. All right, so this one we're going to call um, labor charges. OK, so you have two options here. You can do a fixed hourly rate or you can do a custom hourly rate per service item. OK, so you can you can charge different amounts for different services, just depending on what they're doing. OK, so these are the standard rates. And if you wanted to change install labor, we could change that to 100. OK, uh, or you can select all and adjust selected rates so you can go up by a percentage. All right, if you want to. OK, higher. So you could say 10% higher, and it's going to put in the 10% higher. OK, so in this example, what we're going to do, I'm going to do a fixed hourly rate. Let's say that this is um, $85 an hour. OK, we'll hit OK. Now it says, please remember to assign this billing rate level to the appropriate employees, vendors, and other names. To assign it, edit the employee and choose the correct billing rate level. OK. OK, so we're set that up. So first of all, we have this set up. So that's step one. We got to set up the various uh, billing rate levels. OK, so now let's go to the employee center. <clears throat> all right, so let's say that Elizabeth Mason, we're going to assign this to. So we edit uh, Elizabeth. And we're going to go to the additional information. You're going to see a box here that says billing rate level. OK, so now we see the billing rate level we just set up. We're going to say labor charges. And we're going to click OK. All right. OK, so now how we apply this to a certain customer. First of all, you have to enter time for a customer that's going to be billable. So we're going to enter some time here for uh, Elizabeth Mason. We're going to say Elizabeth Mason on December 15th. Uh, we're going to say for John Smith and we're going to say this service item. Let's say that it's some blueprint changes. OK, and we're going to say that she spent an hour and we're going to say that this was a remodel. OK, so this is billable to a customer. So we want to make sure that this is checked off here and we're going to hit save and close. All right. So now when we go to bill John Smith, OK, so we go to customers, we go to create invoices and we're going to choose John Smith and it's going to say, OK, you have outstanding billable time or cost to add to this invoice. OK, we're going to click that. OK, and you're going to see here now that Elizabeth Mason's time is billed at eighty five dollars. OK, so we click OK, adds that to the invoice. And now it's billed at $85. OK, so you can set up and of course, then we're going to assign uh, the class and then we're going to save and send this to the customer. You may have some other additional charges or other items that you add to this, uh, but you get the gist of, of billing that time. OK, so you can set up different price levels uh, or billing rate levels for different customers uh, for, you know, whether it's wholesale, commercial, uh, you can have different rates for the different services that you do. They don't all have to be billed out at the same hourly rate. Some services may be worth more than others, et cetera. OK, so this will give you an idea of how you can easily set this up so you can bill your customers at a if you want to call it a, a markup or an additional billing rate level. OK, 
Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave them below. Uh, also head over to the QuickBooks University. Uh, lots of great information over there. We, I also have three free videos that you can get with the most common mistakes people make in QuickBooks Desktop, and I show you how to not make those mistakes. Head over there now, qbuniversity.org.